So in this episode, I have for you 14 home trends, home design trends for 2025. These are pretty interesting. These probably wouldn't, especially the first one I have for you, you probably wouldn't expect to see, to see this on the list. But uh, number one is indoor swings. Apparently there are some celebrities like Gwyneth Paltrow um, and even Beyonce that have indoor swings, right? Swings in their house. They're supposed to be relaxing. Uh, they're supposed to be fun. They're supposed to be a joyous addition that can lift your spirits, right? You're walking in your door after a long day and you sit in the swing in your house. Uh, I foresee this being popular with bigger homes, like probably mansions where they have indoor swings, but if you could fit one in your home, that that's even better. Number two is uh, mixing curves with waved edges. So like accessories like lamps that have waves in them, wavy design, and then curved furniture. Uh, I I wouldn't have thought this either, but you know, designers are, are making a beeline for this type of design, right? Curved edges, um, probably for the last few years, I would say. Um, pretty interesting, but you pair those two together and you get um, um, a nice soft appeal for your eyes, okay? Third one is decorating with brown. Now, this one's cool, if it's the right color brown, by the way, but uh, you can use brown where, where most people would expect to see black, which black is in style too, um, minimally, right? For an accent wall, things like that. Um, maybe another wall that separates the kitchen from the dining room or the kitchen from the living room, whatever. Um, but use brown where most people see black. Expect to see black. The result is a soothing palette and an interesting new take on being inspired by nature that doesn't rely so much on the color green. Number four, textured neutral bedrooms. Neutral color bedrooms that have some form of a texture with it. I wouldn't say wallpaper, but the trend for bedrooms being calming sanctuary, uh, sanctuaries is really going nowhere but designers are finding new ways to add texture to even the most neutral of color schemes. Um, pretty interesting, okay? Number five, confidence in color. So I want you to imagine, uh, I wish I had a, a photo of all these by the way, but I don't, um, but confidence in color. So you have a neutral room, but you have bold yellow curtains, or you have uh, a bold red rug over the hardwood floor or blue furniture. Confidence in color without having it feel gaudy and ugly. Um, so confidence in color is the fifth one. Now, uh, which by the way, you can call that a dramatic space. Number six, I love this one, mixed metals, okay? So you can have, uh, for example, in your bathrooms, which would be the key area for this, you can have an antique finish faucet with a brass light fixture. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities to use a mixed metal light fixture to combine brass and black and bronze, um, things like that, making it easier to find the balance. But you got to do it right. So, you know, Google this mixed metals design trend and you'll see tons of examples of, you know, mixed metals being used in a room. And it kind of ties into that industrial decor. Because it used to be you had to have the same type of metal, or you should have the same type of type of metals in a, in a let's say a bathroom or a kitchen, but that's not the case anymore. You can mix it up. Uh, number seven, strong colors used for relaxing rooms. Uh, interestingly, serenity is starting to become as much from bold hues as neutral colors. Okay, but they you got to handle it skillfully. You got to, for example, a pink bedroom can easily have been too much, um, too enlivenly, right? But if you do it right, right, the right color pink, not ugly pink, like, like a kid's room pink, but a nice sophisticated pink color, which now I'm sure there's probably a million different pinks, um, but you get the effect of um, softer shades, of bold colors, incorporating muted tones, ensuring that they harmonize, harmonize harmonize with each other and they 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 really complement the room and then of course you know the strategic use of lighting uh, accent pieces and stuff like that really does help number eight 
Ooh, I love this one. Copper detail. So copper, copper um, trim on mirrors, uh, copper faucets, copper lighting fixtures that come, come down, let's say over a kitchen island. Uh, but you know what? Copper is back. Um, copper was out of favor for about 15 years and brass was being used instead. But it's warm hue and sunny tone feels great right now. So copper is very, very huge right now. Um, I don't foresee it actually going away anytime soon um, because brass was around for so long, it tends to feel a little brash right now, a little harsh, okay? Um, number nine, room dividers. Uh, not just the, for dividing a room, but as art. So think of those, those screens that open up and you can separate, let's say, um, part of a bathroom with a vanity area. Room dividers have been uh, on the mind of many people recently and they've been coming back, especially for 2025. Um, it, it tends to, to be more artwork though. It's gotta look nice. It can't ju just be a cheap little screen that you throw up and it opens up and closes. You gotta have it have one that is like nice. Maybe even, hey, a copper trimmed one, right? With a screen, pretty interesting. Anyway, so think privacy, but it's movable privacy. You can open it up if you want. Number 10, moodier colors. So darker colors have always been considered very elegant and chic. However, um, there's been an inaccessibility to them too. So. You gotta have the right style, gotta have the right space for it as well, and the right lighting to pull off moodier shades. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example here. So, you know, black, brown, dark blues. Dark blue, I love actually. Uh, blue's my favorite color, by the way. Uh, just thought I would share that with you. Uh, purples and greens, okay? So black, brown, dark blues, purples and green. Um, you incorporate these colors into a, the right space, uh, let's say a, a, a nice den area, living uh, a second living room that you have at home. Many homes have living rooms and a great room. That would be a, a good idea for that. Number 11, and I'm probably gonna get this word wrong, bio, biophilic design. So this is um, another trend that will be thriving in 2025. It centers around bringing the outdoors inside. This was, this was actually hot for 2024 as well, but uh, creating spaces that foster a stronger connection with nature. So indoor plants, living green walls. Hey, we're going back to that green color, right? Like I mentioned in another, another uh, trend in this video. Uh, natural materials like stone, wood, and then large windows that bring in and maximize natural light, large windows. Uh, so bring in the inside, I'm sorry, bringing the outside, right, nature into your home. Pretty interesting. Um, number 12, layered lighting. So let's go to this. So homeowners are paying far more attention to the, to the way spaces in the home make us feel. This is, uh, by the way, a common thread with all these trends is that it gives you a nice serenity type feel. Um, our homes are having to work harder for us than ever before, right? And it, uh, with an increase in spaces having multiple functions. So open plan living areas to kitchen dining zones, uh, the trend for installing multifunctional lighting can be adapted to suit the room uh, as it's being used uh, to set to continue in, to rise, right? This is a huge trend right now. Um, in other words, gone are the days of simply turning on the big light. You have multiple lights. You have overhead lighting, you have lamps, maybe some some lighting sconces on the wall, things like that. So that is, uh, what was that? Layered lighting, okay? Second to last here, number 13 is statement stoneware. So the biggest area that I feel where stoneware should be is around the fireplace, okay? But the beauty of natural materials such as travertine and decorating with marble, marble floors, maybe, marble island countertop, um, it's timeless, okay? Uh, it doesn't really go out of trend, out of out of style. However, it's huge for 2025. It's ramping up in, in spots where you wouldn't expect it. Um, matter of fact, you know, side tables, right? Sculptural stone side tables instead of wood. 
by your by your couch you have a stoneware side table um either in a bedroom or by your couch actually and a, and like i mentioned a standout fireplace that has stoneware in it in the living room wherever your fireplace is in a in a great room or even in your master room um so pretty interesting there okay and the last one is uh, a focus on handmade artisan designs, antiques, things like that. Um, sustainable design has always been a trend, by the way, but um, it's it's be it's really hot right now for 2025, actually. Um, even now, as you're watching this in 2024, but um, I think you know antiques, um, old wooden tables that were refurbished, but they still look antique-ish things like that, um, tchotchkes, right? Things that, uh, basically anything that you go to an antique store and it looks old and antique-y, <laughs> um, that would be something that you could put in a room and then kind of mix some new design with some antique, uh, like an antique curio cabinet, things like that, which I thought curio cabinets were going out of style, but apparently they're not. So these are 14 home design trends for 2025. Hey, did I miss one? Or is there one that you hope will, uh, you know, t uh, test or stand the test of time? Or is there a trend that, that you hate that's on this list, right? Do you not like layered lighting? Do you not like indoor swings? Go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments. Uh, and if you found value in this video, go ahead and like, follow, subscribe, where you're watching. Otherwise, I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, and thank you for watching.